some of the hardest or most challenging problems that you'll run into for this chapter involve when you are given um, one unit of concentration and asked to change it into different but equal units of concentration. For instance, if you need to go from molarity um, to molality or percent by mass into mole fraction, you have to take multiple steps to get there, but they're all individually easy steps. Sometimes it's just a challenge to figure out where to go and how to get there. So in this image that I've provided you, they've broken down um, the differences between a uh, one molar glucose solution and a one molar glucose solution. So you can see that um, the one of the biggest thing is the molarity is per one liter of solution and you need to remember that the solution involves both the solute and the solvent and then molality is per one kilogram of solvent. Where it gets sticky sometimes is whenever they give you a total solution and um, you're trying to figure out what the different parts are and you might have to consider the density and remember that density is the grams per milliliter so converting from um, the volume into mass so that you can work with it uh, will usually is involved when we're going away from molarity and we have a volume already and we want to find the mass here's a, all right here's a sample problem it says calculate the mass percent the parts per million and the mole fraction of a solution of acetic acid that has a molality of 3.5 so before we can do any of the solving for the three different substances, or three different amounts, we have to do some background work. We're going to take our 3.5 moles of the HC2H3O2, the acetic acid, and we know that that is per one kilogram of solvent, and that solvent would be the water. So what I recommend you doing first is finding the number of moles of each substance um, or finding the number of grams because you're going to use both. So we have the moles of the acetic acid and I am going to change it into grams. So I know that every one mole um, is equal to, if I add up the H, the two C's, the three H's, and the two O's, that would be 60 grams uh, is the molar mass. And I know that that will get me... 210 grams of my solute. Um, I also have one kilogram of solvent which is 1000 grams and my solvent is water so I'm going to convert that into moles using the molar mass of water and that would get me 55.56 um, um, moles of water Okay, so now I can work through the process. Number one, we want to define the percent by mass. So to find the percent by mass, I need to take the mass of the solute, which is 210 grams, divided by the total mass. And the total mass is going to be my 1,000 gram solvent and my 210 gram solute. And when I divide those two values, I'm going, um, oh, almost forgot to multiply by 100. I'm going to get... 17.36% by mass. In my second problem, it asked me for parts per million. So to do parts per million, I take the mass of the part I'm looking for, divided by the total mass, which is 1,000 plus the 210, and then I multiply the whole thing by a million. So when I do that, my parts per million is 17 three five five four parts per million and that is going to be for the solute. I could also find the parts per million for the solvent just um, changing my top number. My last problem is mole fraction and so the mole fraction will solve it for both. The mole fraction for the water we will take I'll label this so I know what I found. We'll take our 55.56 moles divided by the sum of both sets of moles, 55.56 and my 3.5, and I get a mole fraction of water of 0.941, 
and my mole fraction for the acetic acid, HC2H3O2, would be 1 minus my 0 0.941, which is 0 0.059. So as you can see, if you start off with a couple of um, basic setup rules, for instance, identifying what they have, including words like solute and solvent, and then I always find um, the moles and the grams of each of the two substances, I can pretty much solve for any unit after that. So basically, just working through all the units, um, the best thing to do to be confident and correct all the time is to just practice. Some hints I will offer is identify um, your starting amount with um, terms like solute, solvent, and solution. Uh, it will help you to write them out. So like if you have percent, you know that it's five grams per 100 grams or whatever it is. So knowing knowing and understanding the concentration units, what do they mean? Um, that would be definitely a benefit. The other thing I would do is I would solve for moles of both, and I would solve for grams of both. Because at some point or another, you're going to need... Um, you're going to need probably moles of both substances, the solute and the solvent, and maybe even the mass. The last thing that I would re recommend you doing is understanding that density is just a conversion from mass to volume and the reverse. So you can also go from volume to mass. Uh, so whenever you have the density, that's allowing you to figure out what the total mass is based on the volume. Good luck. Do lots of practice.